In this video, we are going to learn how to solve quadratic equations by factoring. So in our first example, we are asked to find the solutions of x squared plus 9x equals negative 8 by factoring. To do that, the first thing that I need to make sure is that our quadratic equation should be written in the standard form. And if you can recall, in standard form natin, okay, ka dito. Our standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So I need to make sure na yung equation ko nasa ganitong form before I can factor or before I can use factoring to solve for the given equation. Unfortunately, yung given natin, hindi pa siya naka-standard form. Pansinin na yung equal sign, di naka-equate yung isang side sa negative 8, hindi sa 0. But the good thing is we can always rewrite. So, kung itong side na to, may negative 8, kailangan lang yan maging 0. Mas madaling gawing 0 itong isang term lang kaysa itong dalawa. Pero pwede ko rin naman siyang gawin dito sa side na to. But in this example's case, dito lang tayo mag-focus sa constant. Kasi mas madaling mag-add na lang ng 8 both sides para maging 0 ito. Negative 8 plus 8 will be 0. So, you're halfway there. Dun sa goal mo na maging standard form itong equation. And then on the left side, you have x squared plus 9x plus 8. Unfortunately, si 8 hindi mo na makukombine kay 9x. Hindi rin pwede kay x squared kasi hindi sila like terms. You can only add and subtract polynomials if they are like or similar terms. So, pwede ko na lang sigurong i-rewrite. x squared plus 9x plus 8. May mga instances kasi na hindi na uuna yung term na may highest degree. So, kapag nire-rewrite mo sila, you do it properly. Nasa unahan yung, may, yung term na may highest degree followed by the term na mababa yung degree and then yung nasa hulihan palaging yung constant. Now, our equation is written in the standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And then, we can now factor or simply look for the factors na kapag minultiply mo, magre-result dito sa iyong equation. That's what we mean by factor, yung verb na factor. And to do that, I need to think of numbers na kapag pinag-multiply ko, magiging 8. Pero kapag pinag-add ko, magiging 9. Again, I need to think of numbers that will multiply to my third term. Multiply to your third term. And then, pag pinag-add mo naman yung numbers na yun, magiging coefficient ng second term. Add to the coefficient of your second term. Paano ko gagawin yun? What I like to do is to make a list. Gawa tayo list ng numbers na pwedeng magmultiply sa 8. Tapos check natin kung pag pinag-add ba sila magiging 9. Let's do it on this side. So siguro pwedeng 1 times 8. 1 times 8 will be 8. In the same way, pwede rin negative 1 times negative 8. Huwag natin kakalimutan yung negative counterparts nila kasi pag pinag-multiply mo yung parehas negative number, magiging positive din, din naman. Ano pa yung numbers na kapag pinag-multiply natin, magiging 8? We can also have 2 and 4. 2 times 4 will be 8. Let's also consider their negative counterparts. Negative 2 times negative 4 will also be positive 8. Meron pa bang numbers na kapag pinag-multiply ko ay magiging 8? Kung wala na, then maybe we can now check kung alin sa mga pairs na to yung pag pinag-add ko magiging positive 9. Let's start with our first pair. 1 times 8 is 8 and 1 plus 8 will be 9. Positive. So, mapalad tayo kasi yung unang pair natin, yun agad yung hinahanap natin. Do we need to check the other pairs? No. Kasi kahit i-check mo yan, hindi mo na mahanap yung number na pag pinag-add mo, magiging second, uh, coefficient ng second term. 
negative 1 plus negative 8 will be negative 9. Hindi positive 9. So, hindi yan yung hinahanap natin. 2 plus 4 will be 6. Hindi 9. So, hindi yun yung hinahanap natin. Negative 2 plus negative 4 will be negative 6. Lalong hindi yun yung hinahanap natin. So, nahanap na natin yung pair. 1 and 8. Numbers na kapag pinag-multiply ko, magiging yung third term. Pero pag pinag-add mo, magiging coefficient ng second term. Anong gagawin ko sa 1 tsaka sa 8? I now need to express this equation as a product of two binomials. So, maglagay tayo ng parentheses. And then, sa first term ng dalawang binomial na yan, ilalagay ko tig-isang x. Bakit tig-isang x? Kasi, again, ang goal mo kapag phenoil mo ito, minultiply mo sila ulit, ang magiging sagot ay ito. x squared plus 9x plus 8, yung original equation mo. So, bakit x yung nilagay ko? Kasi alam ko that x times x will be x squared. May instances na hindi x yung gamit na variable, it's fine. Hindi ilagay mo lang rin yun dito. If the variable used is a, edi a squared, edi dito meron kang a times a. Kung b squared yun, edi b times b and so on. Now, saan ko ilalagay yung 1 and 8? Dito sa second term ng dalawang variables. If this is positive 1, edi ang ilalagay ko dito, plus 1. Pwedeng dyan, pwedeng dyan, ayos lang yun. The order doesn't matter pagdating sa multiplication. Kung positive 8 yung nandito, edi ang ilalagay ko dito, plus 8. Again, pwedeng dito, pwedeng dito sa isang factor, ayos lang yun. And then, you have to remember na kapag pinag-multiply sila, dapat mag equate sa 0 kasi yun yung original equation mo. The whole thing equals 0. Now, we have x plus 1, quantity x plus 1, multiplied by quantity x plus 8, equals 0. If you can recall, the zero product property states that if two real numbers are being multiplied, this quantity represents a number. The same way, this quantity represents a number as well. If two real numbers are being multiplied, tapos nag-result sa 0, then, maybe, either, Isa sa kanila daw ay 0, pwedeng ito 0, pwedeng ito 0, or both of them are 0. Bakit? Because that is the only time na magkakaroon ka ng 0 as a product. Kung isa sa numbers na multiply mo ay 0, o kaya naman, pareha silang 0. If that's the case, then maybe I can equate both of the factors to 0. Maybe, x plus 1 is equal to 0. Or x plus 8 is equal to 0. Or both of them are 0. Ayos lang yun. I-check natin yun. Nahanap na natin kasi yung factors. But we are yet to find the solutions to this equation. Big sabihin, hindi pa natin nahanap yung value na kapag plinag-in ko dun sa variables ko, eh magsasatisfy dito sa equation. Paano natin yun gagawin? Using the zero product property, pwede na natin tong i-simplify x plus 1 equals 0. To solve for x, kailangan isolated siya. Ibig sabihin, dapat walang kasama. To do that, I need to subtract 1 on both sides. Kasi 1 minus 1 is 0. So, meron ka na lang x dito. Mag-isa na siya. And then, on the right side, you have 0 minus 1. Which is negative 1. Nahanap ko na yung isang value ng x. Paano naman kung si x plus 8 yung 0? Solve din natin yung value ng x. To do that, I need to subtract 8. On both sides now. 8 minus 8 is 0. Bakit, negative, bakit 1 yung minus? Bakit 8 yung minus? Kasi gusto natin na makancel yung term na katabi ni x. Kaya negative 1. Kaya minus 1 kasi 1 yung katabi niya. Kaya minus 8 kasi 8 yung katabi niya. Gusto natin makancel out yon. 8 minus 8 is 0. So meron ka na lang x on the left side of this equation. And then on the right side you have 0 minus 8 which will give you negative 8. Now you're able to find the values of x. That will satisfy this equation. Pwede mong i-check yan by plugging them back in. Try mo, negative 1 squared plus 9 times negative 1 equals negative 8. You can try that on your own time and believe me, it will satisfy this equation. These are the solutions to this quadratic equation. At hanap natin yon by factoring.